Hello, Internet Sister Root. If you use a scooter, you know, those push kick scooters, you know, the trick scooters, what they're commonly actually referred to as, uh, if the wheels are plastic spoked, you may want to reconsider. Take it from me. If the wheels are plastic spoked or whatever, you're going to want to fucking get the strongest epoxy resin available. Fill the goddamn wheel up. And once you've gotten that done, yes, once you've got the damn thing filled up with epoxy resin, let it cure. I mean, when you do prepare it, mix it well, fill it into the wheel right up to the part where it actually goes right up to the part where it's not washed into the bearing. You know what I'm talking about. And you know, you have to seal one of the ends of tape in order to do that. Do it if you have to. And wait for it to fully cure. That can take up to 24 hours depending on the resin. Usually it tells you set time X hours, cure time 20, uh, usually about 15 to 24 hours. The set time has nothing to do with the cure time. You have to let it cure. Once you've done that, hey, your wheel's not going to fucking shatter. I have two spoked wheels of spares. One of them completely obliterated when I was going down the hill to measure something for somebody. And that ruined everything. I ended up in the hospital for about a few, for at least a day. And that wasn't fun. Period. That was not fun at all. And luckily, and fortunately, I was wearing a helmet when that happened. As my bike is out of service, I cannot use it until I get that part. So I was relying on a scooter. And because I'm pinky got fucked over, I'm in a splint. And hopefully by this Tuesday, after whatever they call a bit of surgery or whatever, that's probably what's required, I will finally be able to fully use my right hand again which is the most dominant thing for most tools if I tried using a hammer or a screwdriver or whatever with my left hand it's usually I cannot grip it firm enough and I've tried everything to strengthen up that hand it is just not accurate I can barely even write with this hand with this one it's really frustrating to try and hold a pen and write so it feels like I have fucking somebody else doing the writing for me so let this serve as a PSA. Fill up the fucking wheels of resin epoxy. You know what the fuck it's called anyway. And let it fully cure. And then put the wheel on the scooter. So then, if the spokes do happen to break, at least the epoxy will keep everything rigid. And yeah, so the bearing happens to fail, you can just get new bearings and slap it in as long as it's not chunked out or crushed. And when I mean get the strongest epoxy, get the steel reinforced one if you can. Or one that can take at least 500 kilos. Because you're probably not going to even weigh 500 kilos. But it will be very important to avoid serious injury should that happen. Oh, you know those rubber pucks? They typically call hockey pucks. Stick them in between the fucking wheel. Depending on how wide or narrow the, the piece is for the bearings. You want to keep those bearings still in the case they shatter so your wheel doesn't go like this. Because that can throw you right off. Just like an evil Knievel. Just like a Super Dave Osborne. I don't know. Whichever the two happened to me, I flew off it. And I almost didn't remember what the fuck happened. It's only in certain stages. So I've got the epoxy already. I have to wait till I get this son of a bitch out of the splint before I can plastic surgery and a physio before I can properly mix the epoxy with the hardener and pour it into the wheel which I've already I think I did make sure that I glued yes I wasted an optical disc whoop de doo glued it to the wheel sealed the bearing off with cock yeah, you know, you gotta prevent the epoxy from getting in it, otherwise the damn thing isn't moving. It's not a sealed bearing. So, it's shielded, not sealed. And that'll, once it fully cures, I'm gonna make sure the damn thing still works. The bearing that is. And that's about it. I got one set of spare bearings, because 
I see a whole bunch of spare bearings from spinners that had sealed or shield bearings, thankfully. I gotta prepare everything again once my hand is back to normal and restored, and then I can be on that scooter again. As for filming time lapses, I won't be able to do that until my bike is back in service. Unless, of course, I stood at the corner of an intersection and waited for a crowd, demonstration, blah, 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 to go by and walked ahead or scooted ahead and then placed it again with a tripod and let them go by again and again. You know how time consuming that can be? Well, thankfully, I'm not going to take it off the tripod if I do that again. And so it'll just be as easy as taking it off the clamp, throwing it in the backpack, scooting ahead, taking it out again, setting it up, and just record, you know, as long as you don't take too long to get that kind of thing done. Because there was a few times when I was filming rallies and I actually saw that. The person literally had to quickly disassemble and reassemble their equipment. It was just as simple as snapping something on or off. So, uh, I'm going to get back into doing that. Anyways, I just thought I'd post this video blog. I'm okay for a mild concussion. Thankfully, I was wearing my helmet. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been gone. I probably would have had severe amnesia. I wouldn't have remembered jack shit. Nothing. So, I was fortunate enough to wear the helmet that day when that happened. And that was last Saturday. It's been exactly seven days since that happened. Actually, eight days because it's Sunday now. Anyways, whatever. Uh... If you do got hollow scooter wheels, because they're all hollow no matter what. Except that they're actually metal spoked. You don't got to worry about that. But the hollow plastic ones, fucking fill them with epoxy. And let it cure for 24 hours. Read the fucking label on the epoxy resin too. Mix it properly. Put it in. Let it set. At least you're not going to end up in a hospital. Or worse, dead. Because you never know what's going to happen. And fuck. When you're on a scooter, wear a fucking helmet. You don't know what's going to happen, especially if you get into a collision. You know, a gap in the sidewalk. It just has to be as thin as this pen or a sharpie to knock you flying. Seriously, that can happen. And I've seen it happen too many times to count. Skateboarders are also especially vulnerable. Even though they got 100% solid wheels, you can still fucking get hurt. So, stay safe. Be safe. Reinforce those fucking wheels. It's not worth getting hurt. Thank you for watching, and peace out. Feel free to subscribe, feel free to share the video, and have a great day.